So I went to Africa, Asia, Latin America, Caribbean islands. So write a book about the journey. Okay. Any of your salary, any of your profits, anything comes in Bitcoin or in crypto, they charge you 30% tax. 30% flat tax. Okay. But I'm alive, I'm thanks to Satoshi. Okay. <laughs> Satoshi is now your goal. Yes, Satoshi, thank you. To the moon. What's the second best? There is no second best. There's no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset, it's called Bitcoin, right? Right? There is no second best. Hi. Hi. Hello, Paco. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, man. Thank you. You're so spending a, do you have a great time here? Yeah, it's, Atlantis? it is so good. It's such a nice weather. Look yeah. at it. It's perfect. It's yeah, amazing. It's a great place. It seems like you know everyone here. Uh, people know me, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, my journey, because of my journey, the Bitcoin okay. community supported my journey. Okay. And that became a family now. Because who, who are you? Uh, <laughs> I, I discover you here. <laughs> uh, so in 2021, I read the book, The Bitcoin Standard, okay. and started a journey called Run With Bitcoin to okay. travel 40 countries using Bitcoin. The, the, the book just uh, explored your mind. Yeah, it just was the best book in the world for me. Okay. Where is, I come from India, where we all have gold. Gold? Gold. Ah, uh, gold. like yeah. uh, Gold and silver, right? Ah, uh, gold and silver, sorry. Yes, so everybody has gold. and But now you know the fiat standard is so bad that they're just printing money. So for me, it was like, my brain exploded. And yeah, the journey started to travel and the journey was crowdfunded. And wh why travel? Why travel? Because I have been traveling in the past. So okay. I traveled from 2015 to 2019, four years, okay. hitchhiking, okay. couch surfing. Okay. So I finished that traveling. And then I wanted to travel with Bitcoin because of the book, Run With Bitcoin. Start, that's a running I like to run. That's why mm -hmm. it's called Run With Bitcoin. Okay. And how is it? It's been good, man. People are very nice, but we are very early. Okay. Very early. People don't understand that point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And um, today, what, what's your your new goal? For today, <laughs> I want to. I have. I'm auctioning some bracelets. Okay. I have some bracelets that I made into an artwork. Yeah. And I'm auctioning that as of now. Okay. And then meet Bitcoiners, hang out, have fun. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, like, the ocean is to. Um, to raise money for something? Or? Yes, I'm writing a book about my journey. So I traveled two years using Bitcoin in global south. So I went to Africa, Asia, Latin America, Caribbean islands. So write a book about the journey. Okay, like to, to show to, to people how yeah. like uh, you can um, like erase your... Yes. Your, I don't You're, have the, the vocabulary. Like, like how, can, how can you live on a Bitcoin standard? Yeah, and be free. And be free. And how you can have your own little circular economy. Yeah. yeah that's the point. Because we, we've been uh, speaking with Gloire. I don't know if you know him. He, where, where is he from? From Congo. Congo? Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite famous. It's, uh, he's doing... Um, the Virunga National Park? Uh, Gloire, yes, Gloire. Yeah, Gloire, yeah. Gloire, yes, he's yeah, the yeah. he's the he's organizer of Africa Bitcoin Conference yeah, exactly. in Ghana two yeah. years. Yes, yeah. he's a great person. Yeah, and he told us how like Bitcoin just allow him to be completely free yes. in Africa and just move around the cross border and always have all his wealth and be able to to spend uh, his sats and everything. Yes, and you, you, your goal with your book is like to to show to to people. How is it to, to be with Bitcoin? Yes, free, yes. Okay. How, how that freedom aspect is there, how you can be free. Okay. Like, you do not need to worry about inflation. You do not need to worry about moving. You do not need to worry about the government. But you are just part of an ecosystem that mm -hmm. is Bitcoin. Yeah. So you can transact freely to anyone around the world. So, yeah. And how is it going in uh, India? Are you following the... So in India... I would say we have legal Bitcoin exchanges, so you can buy exchanges on Bitcoin, but any income, any of your salary, any of your profits, anything comes in Bitcoin or in crypto, they charge you 30% tax, 30% flat tax. Okay. So if I send you $10,000 of Bitcoin in India, the government will charge you 30%. Even if it's a donation? Or... Yeah, whatever. Okay. Whatever it is, 30% okay. government. And how could they check that? Uh, because you're doing it legally on a crypto exchange. Okay, but if it's out of the... Then it's peer-to-peer, -peer, yeah. then that's what Bitcoin is. Okay, okay. Yeah. And is it uh, dangerous to, to do that kind of practice? No. No? No, it's pretty nice. A lot of people do peer-to-peer. -peer. It's like a trust network. Okay. So, yeah. And do you feel like it's, it, there is a raising uh, concern about like inflation, fiat currency, like the, 
this old thing in India? Yes, yes, yeah. definitely. I used, I remember I used to buy a banana for five rupees. Now it is eight rupees yeah. in four years. Okay. So yes, there is inflation. Things are getting expensive. Uh, luckily, our Indian economy is very strong. So our dollar, to the, when the dollar and the rupee is not losing too much value, mm -hmm. we are still at like one dollar is eighty four, but it's not like like in Kenya. From 100, it went to 160. In Nigeria, from 400 to 1,200. Yeah. So nothing like that. Yeah, and it's still uh, comparing something that inflates. Yes. Like dollar is not a, yeah. a good uh, no. store of value. No, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, have you tried to? You, I guess you have a family. You, I, my you, parents. Your parents. Yeah. Okay. And did you bring Bitcoin to them? Ah uh, no, they don't want Bitcoin. They don't, want, they don't want Bitcoin. They don't want to listen to no, it. No, no. They, they like gold. So in India, okay. gold is religious. Okay. So every household has gold. Okay. So they're happy with gold. Gold doesn't lose value. Okay. So that's what they feel. So is it easier in India to bring Bitcoin with yes. the, the gold mindset? Yes, it is easy because the next generation is coming like us mm -hmm. and the 19-year-olds who can't buy a house. Mm -hmm. They can't afford. So they are watching. They are seeing. And slowly, but there's a lot of crypto adoption in India. A lot of crypto. People like to use a lot of Tether, mm -hmm. Polygon, Matic. Okay. Yeah. For the stable coins? Yes. Okay. Okay. There, there is a use. Uh, there, there is a usage yes. for it. Okay. And is it so, as um, is it still the, the same uh, flat tax for stable yes. coins? Yes. Yeah. yeah, but thirty percent. Yes. Yes. Everything. Okay. Anything crypto happens flat thirty percent. Okay. D during your journey, what was the um, like first, the, the country where you, you had the greatest experience related maybe to Bitcoin. Well, well, do you have some stories to, to share with us? Yes, yes. A lot of stories in Bitcoin. I think so for me, um, I learned something. If you ask, you will receive. Like if you ask, you receive. If you don't ask, you don't know. Mm. So That's I used true. to ask a lot of people if you accept Bitcoin and everything. Uh, one great story comes from Sri Lanka. I lost my keys to my hotel. Yeah, not, not Bitcoin keys. Yeah, no, no, my hotel room keys. And uh, I went to make a copy of it. Okay. And I asked the guy, do you accept Bitcoin? The key maker. And he had Binance. So I paid him in Bitcoin and I got a key making story. Um, the same thing happened to me in Congo. Like people do not want to exchange $100 bills. They don't accept $100 bills that are printed in 2009. So if you see your dollars, they are printed, they say 2009, 2013, 2017. My dollar bill was printed in 2009. So they don't accept. They say this Why? is old money. It is, yeah. So but, they... But it's still the same, no? Exactly. But okay. they say, but, no, this is this can be faked, forgery. Ah, because there is a lot of fake uh, dollars. I was like, my Bitcoin doesn't get old. My Bitcoin is good. And like this, I had a lot of like stories. Like I met with an accident in Zimbabwe. But I'm alive, I'm thanks to Satoshi. Okay. <laughs> Satoshi is now your goal. Yes, Satoshi, thank you. To the moon. <laughs> Are you bullish on Bitcoin? Very. Very. Like I think so, we should go one million in two days. <laughs> <laughs> You're in that team. <laughs> to the Sa moon. Same team. Yes. <laughs> thank you for this Thank time. you so much, man. It was man. a great time. Pleasure. Pleasure.